Hello Minecrafters, this is Renico, and today I bring for you a 1.8 design for villager breeding. Basically, in 1.8, infinite villager breeding will kind of be non-existent because of the new mechanics. Basically, how the new villager breeding works is that two villagers need to be willing, and then there's a chance that they will breed if the right conditions exist, meaning if they are in a village, and the size of the village for two villagers has to be at least nine doors for them to breed, basically. So here we have two villagers, and they are standing on some iron fences, and I'll explain why in just a second, and they're separated by a piece of iron fence as well. Basically, you come up here, and these would be like your two very good villagers that you like to trade often, perhaps wheat and uh, wool or something like that. And you come up here, you trade with them, and then there's a chance they become willing and they will breed and make a baby villager. And here's what happens when they do. Let's just simulate that. Here's a baby villager. And basically, in a little bit, the villager is going to try to go to the other side, as you can see. And he falls through the iron gates because he's walking around so fast and falls down somewhere. And the reason for that is to remove the villager from the village. So you have this farm somewhere up about 70 blocks above the ground. And then the villager will fall into a water pit collection area for your villagers. Anyways, basically how this works. The baby villager sees that there's a gap here and he tries to jump over. And since there's no block here, he will see the path, he'll jump over, but because he's running around so fast, he will miss a hole and fall right through. And now these villagers are alone in this nine-door village, and they could breed again in five minutes, because that is the cooldown timer for villager breeding. And this little contraption here is just to kind of indicate when they will probably be ready. So, basically, you breed the villagers. You see a baby pop out, right? And then you wait for the baby to fall down. Has he already? Yes, he has. And then you click the button. And here's our five minute timer. How did he? he must have glitched. Here's our five minute timer. It's very simple, basically a dispenser filled with useless um, items and drops one on the wooden pressure plate. And that powers the lamp for exactly five minutes until it despawns. And that's kind of a neat timer to kind of tell you when you can start breeding them or trading with them so that you breed. But really, if you're going to be trading with them a lot, you probably don't need the timer. They're just going to breed automatically whenever they're ready. So yeah, that's a very simple design for kind of a infinite villager breeder. So let me just show you how to make it real quick. You're going to want to start off with a three blocks like this. Then put some more blocks right here. And then grab yourself some iron fences, like so, and put them in like this. Block this off here, here, here. And then you could put some half slabs or something like this, or actually not full blocks, you need half slabs so you could reach the guys. So let's just grab one of those, like so. And then I prefer glass so I could see them nicely. I like black stained glass all right we'll do this and put a back into this place a block above this villager and a block above this villager so they don't jump out but also leave this empty so that the baby villager can see a path and go through and fall down and now for the village it's also very simple you want to create a platform like this and then place some doors basically you need nine for two villagers to breed Here's our doors, and don't forget to place a roof like this. Very simple design. And now for the redstone lamp indicator, also very simple. Just place a little redstone lamp there, a dispenser or a dropper there, and then grab a wooden pressure plate, place it here, and then just cover this so that the item does not fall away, and a button. Oops, my bad, I put it here. And that is it. That is your villager, infinite villager breeder, so to speak, finished. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe if you like to see more videos and like on the video. But yeah, thanks, and bye-bye. Um,